Firefighting now has been classified as carcinogenic, the highest classification for cancer risk, according to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, or IARC. It comes after discoveries stemming from University of Arizona studies and their work with the Tucson Fire Department. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks has more from a professor on the studies and his passion behind the research that comes from working with firefighters for the past 30 years. Firefighters up against a lot, not only physically when they're on a call, but also the after effects. They're exposed to a number of known human carcinogens. Some that can be cancer causing and potentially deadly. Firefighting results in an increased cancer risk. University of Arizona professor Dr. Jeff Burgess outlines the results of several studies led by the university in collaboration with the Tucson Fire Department. Exposures and effect of those exposures and cancer risks in firefighters with a particular focus on prevention of cancer. Some of the research conducted after a Tucson fire investigator, Tom Castnell, died of leukemia. Leukemia is known to be associated with benzene. It's actually a cancer that is covered within the state of Arizona firefighter cancer presumptive laws, but his claim was turned down until after he died. The new research, helpful for firefighters and cancer-related workers' compensation cases. Clearly lays out some mechanisms by which these exposures lead to cancer. Their researchers pinpointed a couple ways they can reduce firefighters' risk of cancer, starting with the engineers who drive and operate the vehicles. Having them wear their SCBA, their self-contained breathing apparatus, reduce their exposures by about 40%. And for those who go into the fires? If you cleaned off their gear after they came out, before they took it off, and bagged the gear so it doesn't get into the cab where it can continue to expose them, we can reduce their exposures by about a third. Both interventions proving successful as they continue to research more ways to save lives. Reducing cancer risks. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News.